morning, everyone. How are you? I hope you're all well. And those of you who are suffering, uh, it won't be long. If you just get yourself, pull yourself through this, it won't be long, I'll tell you. Sometimes it's a bit of a, a process. You got to consider genetic weaknesses of cells and the lymph system, of course, and how bad our lymph systems are today. And the kidney and adrenal issues. I mean, it's just all over. The more you look at this, of course, the more you see. I'm real proud of you uh, Facebook people in every way. You guys are doing good, helping others. You know, you learn by helping others. You learn about the ego. You learn about giving love and balance. And you learn about all these things that are essential to wellness. Now, we're about health and truth. That's about the bottom line to this. Health and truth. And health and truth are essential. Truth always sets you free in every way, in every level. Uh, once you start a lie, the governments are notorious with that. And look right now, in, in our situation, the president elected, lying out his teeth. And you just see, see all that. And it's just amazing. And of course, that's what's being projected to the people. So the, the, the message is, don't lie. You know, be true. Stay with truth, because truth is essential in all levels. And always truth, people can work around that. But once you start lying and packing them on, you know, they, uh, boy, you get yourself way out there, and then karma whops your butt. But so all of you are doing so well. I want to try to catch up with some of these. I took a little uh, weekend off just to get my just to get away from it all, so I apologize, I was able to get to you, and I actually came in a week ago to record about four or five hours, and they forgot to put the chip in, and I didn't know where the chips were, and it's like, oh, so it was a real pleasure to meet you, and all you new uh, uh, individuals that are on board here, thank you so much for coming aboard, um, really uh, dig into this, understand your lymph system, Get with the simplicity of it all. Knowledge yourself up with this, and you'll save yourself so much trouble and torment. Uh, it is a nightmare allopathically. Um, again, let's separate emergency and surgery out of this mix. That's a different level of thinking. But healthcare should only be in the hands of naturopathists, not naturopathic uh, physicians. Unfortunately, these guys are out there recommending high-protein diets and all this. And for a naturopath to recommend meat, for a naturopath to recommend a high-protein diet, they're not naturopaths. They're calling themselves that, but they're not naturopaths because meat is not a part of naturopathy and neither are high-protein diets. Never has, never will be. So, these people are getting off on the wrong path, but that's what's down here. This is the definitely the world of the greatest illusions and uh, the greatest lies and uh, deceptions and all this sort of thing, you know. So you want to always rely on one thing, and there's one thing you can always rely on, and that's yourself. You always want to uh, get a hold of and become more aware of who you really are beyond the mind, beyond ideas, beyond concepts, who are you? Who are you really? And the old fable, where do you come from? You know, as if there's time. So real important to kind of look at life spiritually too. Looking at life spiritually is looking at life with love, away from belief systems and ideologies that divide us and bring us together in spiritual love and divine love. Divine love is simply, I see you, the same as I see myself. I see animals the same as I see myself. I see plants, all part of the one. You know, different forms, different levels of consciousness, different levels of thinking, different levels of emotions. The drama is different in every level. But the core essence is that your awareness and consciousness is tied to all of ours. We are all come out of the same mix. So uh, uh, let's go over some of these um, questions, uh, and hopefully uh, I can help you guys uh, get yourself deeper, but always understand the lymph system is essential, key essential, and those of you that were having conversation with appointments and stuff, I'm trying to tie all that in so you can really get a good grasp that all these different symptoms in one way or another is tied to the suppressive or stimulating factors of acids, acidosis, 
and, and the system that's involved in removing acids out of the human body, which is the lymph, not the blood. A good case in point, a chap yesterday, you know, passing out, 17 years old, passing out constantly. Uh, deep trouble, passing out, hitting his head, everything else. Blood pressures in the dumps, uh, uh, blood sugars in the dumps. So we know adrenals are a big issue here with the young people, don't we? And that controls the autonomic, which controls the uh, sugar metabolism, all these things. And so they sent me his blood work from the hospital uh, yesterday, and there it was, TSH, 0 0.01, thi uh, pituitary. Pituitary, he's got C CNS, you know, a lot of problems up in the head area, which is sh shutting down thyroids, heart rates, shutting down blood sugar, shutting down adrenal neurotransmitters, low blood pressure, all these things like this. This is what we're up against. A 17-year-old can't even stay awake. He passes out. And you're seeing the babies, they're just stop breathing. They're just stopping breathing. We're seeing a lot of that coming in here, turning blue. So the neurological side of man's health issues are in serious trouble, tied right back to the kidneys and adrenals. Adrenals controls the autonomic, indirectly parasympathetic, directly sympathetic. And of course, that all leads to the kidneys, of course, leads to the lymph system, which then reaches way up here and touches the central nervous system. So the problems we face is systemic whether it's acid reflux, and remember the different types of acid reflux that we're dealing with. You know, this is way beyond medical thinking. They're okay with the emergency rooms, although there's so much more work we can do with them. A lot of neat things with that. And then uh, when you add the natural look at this, because we know how to repair and rebuild tissue. They don't. Uh, they know how to sew people up. I'm a carpenter. I've got the same tools they do, except mine's a little rustier. <laughs> There's a little more costly. So always know that it's your lymph system, whether you're dealing with goiters, where you do suppression of the glands. What suppresses the function of cells? Well, what directly touches a cell? Now, you can bring in the emotional component and the mental component, which we're trying to touch on, because these are directly tied to the endocrine glands. Your endocrine gland system is the chakra system for the Hindus, but you must understand these are the centers uh, of awareness and the centers that produce chemical substances that make everything happen from hormones, steroids, neurotransmitters, enzymes, and the like. But it's always the suppressive action of, of the lymph system that breaks down or suppresses the function of cells. Blood rarely does that. When the lymph gets backed up, then the body has to fight this. And remember, cholesterol and calcium is a part of that. So they then, in turn, in time, become obstructive. And you can go down with strokes and heart attacks, blaming the blood system, but not understanding that it's the lymph system that really caused this all along. It's that one system that's been standing there for years saying, I'm the problem. You guys are looking over there. I'm here. And that's why I love you guys, because most of you are very spiritual. You're, you're developing. You're awakening. You see the fallacies of life. You see the fallacies. Unfortunately, even with the higher souls here, unfortunately, sometimes you get your butt kicked down here before you wake up. And that's a form of waking up. It is better to wake up from this world than it is to live in the uh, illusion and the unconsciousness of it all. But that makes for the good drama, of course. But remember, awakening up is what's happening to a lot of souls. So for those that are more advanced in their awareness and how they see the interaction of all life, this world could come to some very serious trouble in terms of um, uh, apparent turmoil and that sort of thing. Don't let that mistake you for the growth of awareness that's happening because this is how souls are shook loose from the tree. And so uh, you either take it on or you become more detached and let it just work itself out. This is creation. You can't do anything about it. It's already created and set. If you want to see the future, go to the causal world where the Akashic records are kept. Keep learning how to have out-of-body experience experiences. Keep moving your attention in different places at will. Play uh, higher games. All right. I only have about a half hour, so I apologize to you, but I know some of you like lengthy ones and some don't. So 
I'm, I'm doing my best. If someone calls off today or doesn't show up, I'll sit down and we'll do another hour or two of this. I suffer from nosebleeds and I do boxing. Uh, the lightest touch on my nose, it starts to bleed. Sometimes it uh, bleed without being hit on the nose. Any advice besides quit boxing? <laughs> well, parathyroid comes to my mind and clean your sinuses out. Now, remember this, 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 uh, this, this top of the tree. This, this head is tied to the trunk of the tree, the GI tract. Got to clean that up, get your adrenals and kidneys moving. That way you're starting to open up all the eliminative organs and all the tissue that relates to everything else. By doing these, then you've opened the door. And now you have a drainage route. Now you have a route that the body can increase elimination. It'll take it away from the skin for all you with eczema or psoriasis. It'll take that away because right now those people that have skin rashes or eczema or acne, uh, no matter what level, psoriasis, this is just your kidneys. This is just your adrenal glands and kidneys failing you. Once you fix that, your skin will then turn around. Remember, the skin is the third kidney. In every condition, you must clean your bowels out. You must clean. And it's not just impactions on the wall. Stagnation occurs in the wall. That's where the cholesterol plaques, that's where the lymph, that's where the lymph is, that's where the blood is. The action, the problem is always where the action is. Not in chambers. That's the effect. It is where the action is, and the action of chemistry is interstitial, around the cells, in the cells. And cells have to be able to consume and eliminate. Everything has to consume and eliminate. Simplistic, but spot on. And any obstruction to elimination creates disease. It's that simple. If you don't poop for a week, you don't feel too good. You don't, start, don't think too good. You start kind of closing off. That's putrefaction, fermentation, acidosis. And this is what occurs. And this is occurring in 99% of humans on this planet. They decided that maybe grains were good, meats were good, dairy products were good, and that was the downfall of the human race. You can't go that route. We are living beings requiring living food, but we are not just living vertebrates. We are homo sapien vertebrates, meaning we are the highest neurological species on the planet in every way, shape, or form. Therefore, we must consume energetics equivalent to that, which is your fruits and your berries, and uh, the melons are pretty high. So, this is parathyroid, uh, Monty. Uh, parathyroid here, very suggestive. Clean your sinuses out because all that acid mucus gets in there and starts breaking down capillaries and things like this, pulling calcium out, things like this. The other side of that is if you're not utilizing calcium, properly, which is the parathyroid, your connective tissue gets thin, your vascular walls get thin. So I would do upper circulation, I would do the bones formula, I would definitely hit the parathyroid glandular. At the same time, I'd be repping after my adrenal glands, my kidneys, and my bowels, and really get honking on that. I've laid these protocols out for you, and that's where I'd be going. Because you, this could be indicative of deeper issues in terms of aneurysms or things that could come on your way. And uh, uh, kind of protect the face. <laughs> Learn karate. I enjoyed that better than boxing myself. But if you enjoy boxing, problem is you're always boxing a fellow soul. Here, man, let's box and hit each other in the face. Ah, uh, no offense. But um, protect yourself, my friend, and get that parathyroid up. And keep on upper circuit. If you're boxing, I would keep up upper circuit and brain and nerve constantly. That way, any damage from trauma will be healed quite readily. And moving your lymph, when, you're, when you have trauma from a hit, your lymph system can clean and blood can repair real quick. And then you won't notice it. As a matter of fact, the stronger tissue is, you can take a whack and you'll be okay. So really go after that parathyroid. Go after all this and you'll be okay there, my friend. David Attaway. Hey, man. Robert, I've been told the only option by my uh, gynecomastia is surgery to remove the hard glandular tissue that has formed. Can I cure this? Well, I have a form of that. Uh, my, we have big barrel chests. And uh, uh, I say, you know, I've mentioned this before, that uh, stilbestrol is a steroid in the adrenals that controls breast size and shape. 
So when you see a female with undersized breasts, it's her adrenals and it's still bestrol. And you see that with oversized breasts and the same thing with males. And you're seeing a lot more. Males would have a little more uh, up top there, tend to little be a little more feminine, which is good for the females because they get a lot more loving out of these guys. But it's still, for men, it does not feel so manly. Um, I worked out a lot too and built my chest and then over the years, you know. But go after your adrenal glands, get your adrenal glands healthy, move your lymph. Anything that has hardened, if you have hardened tissue behind there, then you want to uh, lose that and, and clean that, uh, get that lymph moving. Anything that's a scar tissue, that's uh, a fibroid, anything like that is dissolved away. And that's very important that, the, that you get up at that high level to do that and fix the adrenal glands. As all these years, I haven't been able to uh, dig that deep in myself, just one thing after another. So if you can do that, cool beans. Make it a, uh, you know, make it a, a journey for yourself. Oh, shiny silver bunny. <laughs> I love your name, sweetheart. I love that. Hello, Doc. I love you. Tell thanks, sweetheart. Just discovered you recently as I'm on a detox, which, of course, was not something I consciously planned. Oh, lots of love. The body. Oh, yeah, the body is smart. Thank you, uh, shiny silver bunny. Uh, thank you so much, sweetie. Come aboard, my friend. This is uh, Irene. Hello, Dr. M. My seven-year-old daughter with Down syndrome. Oh, well, you know what? Guys, I want all of you that are out there helping others to realize you, you're loved. People need help. It's unbelievable. So much of this at this planet. So much. My seven-year-old daughter with Down syndrome has enlarged uh, uh, adenoids and tonsils. Well, you know, this is part of the mix of mutations is the lymph system, not the blood. We're back into acidosis and that effect upon pituitaries, that effect upon um, everything. When you're getting into lymph nodes and the swelling of lymph nodes, tonsils and adenoids, uh, just one of many, uh, you know that's directly the lymph system. So again, going back to what I just talked about, always clean up the bowels and always get the kidneys and adrenals going. At the same time, with the Down syndrome, you're going to get up in that head with upper circuit brain and nerve, and you can do some pituitary work on the young lad too, even seven years old, and work this Down syndrome out of him uh, or her, or her, and uh, get that out of her. Uh, I, I thought if you saw Lorenzo's oil, you saw just the improvement done just in a, a very minor, a nutritive look. Uh, you guys know a major way to, to regenerate uh, uh, abnormalities and mutations and things like this of the cells. And it's vital that, that man gets to this level. This is the highest healing level that's available to man on this planet. We don't have the crystal levels yet that man really knows. We see people playing with crystal healing, but... That, that, that's just a, a little look. Crystal healing in the inner worlds are unbelievable. And remember I told you Dr. Jensen was taken out of his body quite regularly to these crystal cities and taught crystal healing. Didn't know how to, to bring that to this world. But it will come. It will come more and more and more. Uh, so we know that the lymph nodes are enlarged immediately, kidney and adrenals. Well, no kidding. We can track that in every single case. We then can reach up. We can see thyroids, parathyroids, or we can grab it to the pituitary when you see growth factors changing, how it augments the body and its growth factors. But you have adrenal that controls certain growth factors. We just talked about one, still best draw. So getting the body healthy in every way is important. And, of course, when you look at this young girl, you know immediately she's got she's got a adrenal and kidneys because her adenoids are swollen and her tonsils are swollen. Now, wherever she's a product of formulas or, or whatever she's a product of till this point, you got to detox her. You got to clean her lymph system so you can get to the cells because we're after the cells, no question, but we've got to clean the highway to get to them. And the highway that's blocked in your daughter is the lymph system. Look at the swelling. You can remove them. That'd be a medical thinking, and then compromise your daughter even more, or you can simply clean her out, get her on fruit. She's seven years old. She should be 90% fruit at this age, or at least 75% fruit, because that's going to mature her brain and nervous system. And this is vital at these early ages that you bring man's nervous system up to where it should be. Oh, God forbid we can even get close to that. Trouble breathing at night. 
See, and that, again, this could be up here. If it's uh, breathing, period, then we're back to the adrenals and the autonomic nervous system and the effect upon that. Yes, the parasympathetic and the cerebellum can be involved because you're involved with the tonsils, you're involved with the adenoids, so you, you have to consider cerebellum and that effect upon breathing parasympathetically. So you have to look both ways. They're connected, sympathetic, parasympathetic, adrenals, neural transmitters. So real important to work on that whole system there. As a result, we have some behavioral issues and cognitive function. Again, upper circuit brain and nerve mandatory. At the same time, really get on that and move her lymph system. Uh, the one kidney formula, the one lymphatic formula, start out small with her, do a lymphatic one, do a kidney number one. You could do liquids initially. Uh, but uh, I was just going to have Justin talk to you. My grandson, he's seven. He downs pills like crazy. He's a health nut himself, the kid. Smart as a whip. But this is what you can do, and you can get your daughter into a much higher level of expression and pull this out of her, dear. And that's the only way I'd be going, because there's no other, as you know, there's no other connection on this planet that can help her. There's just none. You can make her better, but you want to go after total regeneration. She's seven. She's got a lot of years ahead of her, and she's in the growth stages. So this is a perfect time to work on this young girl. Already compromised, maybe even more. The doctors want to check for sleep apnea. Oh, yeah, check her, check her, check her, check her, check her. Well, pff, hello. I mean, put this little girl through hell with all these tests and stuff. What do you need, big guys? It's obvious. You know, you don't need to sit and run this little girl through study after study and bull crap after bull crap, and here's all the money, and here's all the crap, and there's nothing they can do in the first place. So you really need to just drain her lymph system, which will drain her sinuses and drain those lip nodes and everything, all the swelling will go down. At the same time, you're after regeneration here. You've got a pituitary issue, you've got adrenal issues in this young girl, and you want to correct them now. Absolutely. As I was also informed, lack of oxygen can be hard on heart. Well, no. Yeah, lack of oxygen can be hard on you. Yeah, real hard on you. Sometimes like, I mean, come on. I am taking all, uh, taking all dairy out as best I can. As best you can. And don't let me be too, too firm with you, Irene, but stop. Not best you can. Stop. Who's the mother? You got, can't let emotions come in here and, and tie this. You've got to be the strong one, Mom, and come there and dictate exactly what this girl's going to have. Or... You're going to play the game of, of Russian roulette and all this sort of thing with these kind of wackos here. You want all dairy out, all weed out. This girl needs to be on fruits, berries, and melons. If you want to do some green drinks, okay. Supplement maybe with some God's Blend to power that up. By God, that's all you need. You really need to detox this child first. Or, you know, go ahead and have her tonsils and adenoids removed. You know, you can't just keep compromising the young people because one's scared. You've got to grab strength, all of you guys, and go after this. Those moms don't don't feel like you're oh the medical profession and oh I got to do this right. They don't have a clue about health. It's about time you all realize that and that you hold the key. And as your parents, you've got to grab and get your kids well or hell to be paid. I mean, these guys will run your little girl through hell. Probably already have. Uh. I need as well, I need to cut back on sugars. Boy, this little girl must be having a really horrible diet. No offense, Irene, but this is what the indication here is. I'm aware of these things, however. She is now chronically congested. No kidding. I have considered the removal of adenoids. That seems to be the standard procedure amongst parents of Down syndrome kids. Yeah, parents that are unaware, parents that are ignorant and want to remain ignorant. These are souls that remain in the box. All these boxes that are made for all you souls, when you're ready, get out of them, but you're dragging other souls in the boxes with you. So you got to open up these boxes. Open up your consciousness. Start realizing that you're trapped in creation in a modality. It is a top-killing machine on the planet. There is no remedy with allopathic thinking. Get outside of this box, dear one. You wouldn't have written this and sent this to me and watched my uh, site if you didn't didn't have the ability to get out of the box. Uh, real important, don't follow everybody else. That's the herd cattle. Yeah, everybody goes to the barn and eats at a certain time. Come on, guys, time to eat. They say the enlargement is on a five on a scale to one to five. <laughs> Detoxer. 
I don't want to remove tonsils, but they are huge, and doctor uh, say it contributes to airway blockage. My daughter had a collapsed lung at birth. Look at this. Uh, again, this you've got to get into that uh, that pituitary and cut picking up the thyroid, parathyroid, start strengthening connective tissue. You need to clean this little girl out real, real big here, and it's going to be a problem because you've got her so congested now that she's got to she's got to go through some cold and flus and fever and everything else. What are you going to do when that happens? You're going to rush her to the ER? I mean, this is the sort of problem that people run into. And moms and dads, man, you, you, your kids, if you don't get them, you're responsible for them. And if you don't take care of them, and when you know better, you've got to pull away. You can't let the seven-year-old know better. They don't know better. So you've got to know. Medical doctors don't know better. <laughs> give her dairy. Who cares? You know, tonsils out, we'll give her more ice cream. I mean, that was the end thing. Give them ice cream after he moved the tonsils. I mean, that's insane. That, that's like stepping on a rattlesnake twice. Oh, you bit me once, I'll try it again. I mean, ah, oh, sometimes it sends me out to lunch, some of this stuff. I waited four years for it to close on its own, to um, close, uh, to give you an idea of how I try to do things naturally as best that I can. Yeah, and I, I do respect that. I'm sure that you have a husband to deal with. You have family members to deal with. But you're the mama. And mamas have the power to do something about it. And should take the power. Grab the power. Because no one else has gone to. And so mom, grab the power, sweetheart. And get this little girl cleaned out. If you need help, definitely call Jennifer. She's the kid. And uh, get your daughter back out of this. Because a removal of lymph nodes only compromises more. And this is the brain you're talking about. And she, congestion in the adenoids and tonsils only breeds the suppression of pituitary and other functions. Probably got the lymph from you, by the way. And uh, you really need to get her lymph moving in yours too, mom. Real important here. Don't mean to be hard on you, but, you know, if you're going to holler about your kid, then you take control and you do something about it. You know, this government, you've just we just got to become strong team and get our kids well. There's a lot of moms going down the raw road with these kids, and you need to be one of them too, mom. This is from Stan. Do you have protocols for systemic candida that is in the lungs, hypothyroid, adrenals, and now low T at 210? Uh, NGs affecting the endocrine system. Second, do you have a protocol for MS or have you cured MS? Well, there's a there's a lady on there if you want to look at her on the YouTube that's walking. Now she's almost running uh, for the MS to show you that. You never fail with MS. Uh, rare did I see anybody that works at our level fail with MS. Uh, and basically I'm talking about you guys because there's hardly anyone else out at this level. Uh, systemic candida, get your adrenals and kidneys, move your lymph, move the, move the culturing medium, the terrain, fix the, the sugar metabolism problem, stay away from complex carbohydrates, which is starches, because your body's having a hard time breaking them down. Fermentation causes uh, uh, candida, causes the need to have fungus. Understand what funguses are, whether it's yeast, fungus, moles, uh, whatever. Understand what they are and what their job is in life. They're involved in fermentation. If you can't break down chemistry, God has little helpers to. It's that simple. And so we're a product of grain eating. Oh, grains are good for you. That was Harvey Kellogg, maybe. But that's not what God's saying. Uh, you really need to turn around and get living food. We've adapted, and, and I know there's places that depend upon grains heavily, but we need to help those areas with pyramid greenhouses and fresh fruits and veggies and get these people healthy again. We are the world. We can do that. We're spending tons of money. But you know what? Uh, it looks like we're going to have wars, wars, wars. And why don't we just get it over with? Why don't we just have our big war, get it over with? Anybody left standing? Okay. All those souls will go on to other journeys. I mean, if you're going to keep this up and not have brotherly love and planetary love, the World Bank's going to continue to, to be as constipated as ever and cause most of these problems. Then, you know, this is all you can keep on just the same, just like our election here. Everything's just the same, except it doesn't stay the same. Businesses are starting to go out of business. If you haven't noticed for all you people that voted that way, and you're going to see it, small businesses are like us suffering with governmental taxes and regulations, suffocating with them. Now, nobody knows that. The average person on the street doesn't have a clue. They don't they work for somebody and just get a paycheck. But when you're in business, it's a whole nother level. 
A lot of people don't understand all the problems we have in just being in business to help somebody. It's unreal. So easy to clean candida out. Get your thyroid up. You can use a glandular for hypo and use the adrenals and go after that. Clean your lymph system up. And uh, you'll be okay there, Stan. Uh, not if none of these things are difficult here that you say. And if you want, go to the uh, the uh, Facebook, and you got a lot of good healers over there that'll help you there, Stan. Um, Chantel, let's see. I have been watching your videos for over a year now. Well, thanks, Chantel. Thank you. Thank you so much for helping me on my road to well Bill. Oh, thanks. Thanks for writing that. I have a couple questions. I was wondering if it, it's true that humans have a longer lifespan because you always hear this in the media. I think that's the biggest, one of the biggest lies is perpetrated by allopathy. Another big lie. And the problem, and you saw this with the election here, the problems with the medias. Medias are biased in every way. And then, you know, and I have to say, I watch Fox News, and a lot of people don't like Fox News. And yes, uh, fair and balanced, how about truth? And none of the news media gives a damn about truth. Everybody has to either be one party or another. And the problem is we have to change our whole government. You can't have, Switzerland did that. You can't have this kind of government anymore. It breeds control. It breeds communism. It breeds all this. And it, it breeds narcissism, it breeds all this. So you have one guy thinking his, his, his ego is so big now, you just have one guy that, 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 that thinks he can control things. And this is the problem. Um, you've got to be in business. Those that have never been in business, uh, you know, you, you can't uh, say, well, we need money, we're going to tax them. And I was looking at this last night on the news, and the government, most people don't realize here in America how much money the government makes. And you notice that no one talks about that. Most governments make a ton of money on everything between customs, between fines. Look at how much the FAA and, and, and uh, the FCC, these guys are out of control. They're finding these, uh, uh, these uh, uh, TV stations, they're finding them millions and millions of dollars. It's out of control. The government right now in this country is literally stealing everything it can from its people. It literally is. It's so out of control. And so it's just a sad, sad thing. But the government makes so much money that they focus the tension on taxes so they can keep taxing you. But what they don't tell you is they have income from a multitude of places. The federal government in America is a major corporation. Matter of fact, you realize your police departments are corporations. They all got incorporated. Guess why? <laughs> Guess why? Now, uh, because you always hear it in the media. Now, just take a look at the obituaries, and you'll see. You know, I was working in hospitals in the 90s. So you could go, and I've said this before on this, you could go to the cardiac floor in the early 90s and rarely, rarely see a 40-year-old male. You could go to the oncology ward, and you would rarely see a 30- or 40-year-old female with cancer. Now you go to these wards, and they're loaded with 20- and 30-year-olds. And the baby deaths are at an alarming rate. And it's just the young people are dying right and left. We see a lot of 30-year-old women in here with tons of cancer, and some of them we can't save. Last year alone, we probably have seen uh, two or three 30-year-old women that just couldn't, couldn't get it. By the time they came to us, their cancer had ate them up. They were so eaten up, I couldn't even save them. Whew. Damn. So, if you want to buy into their lies, buy into it. But I wouldn't if I was you because it'll just lock you away and keep you in the world of boxes and ignorance. So get yourself free uh, from this mess that's created down here. Uh, some of the channelers of these forces got themselves a little out of balance. <clears throat> a way to make it seem like the medical association is doing a good job. Isn't that true, honey? And that's exactly what it is. This is a propaganda. This is lies. Man is dying all over the place. Look around at your friends. Look at the, around at the people you know and in the age groups. It's frightening what's going on. But don't upset the herd. Don't let the herd know this. Because you upset the herd, they're going to come after us. Yeah, we are coming after you. Yep. If it is, okay, I would uh, think that maybe it would be because of better sanitation. It has nothing to do with microbes. Matter of fact, who is the most resistant to microbes? Who has the best immunity? Farmers. People that the kids get in the mud. Kids that get out and play in the dirt. 
We've got a fetish with microbes. Oh my God. You know, and remember the guy that wrote the book on the terrain. This has always been about the terrain, the culturing medium. This has always been about your sewer system. They're just lost in space. Still with the past year gender theories, are we? Again, antiquated theories that the medical profession keeps dragging with them like a ball and chain. At the same time, killing millions. For the sake of what? Old theories that hold no, no, no prudence? Medical doctors, learn about the lymph system, boys, or you're going to be in trouble because you're getting a lot of rare people out there. What is your opinion? Do you think humans uh, are having a longer lifespan? Hell no. Also, a much, much shorter lifespan, and it's accelerating, guys. It's accelerating back to the days where 40-year-olds is as long as you lived. It's accelerating. After these centurions leave, uh, you know, there's not, we don't have a lot of them anymore. Also, I was wondering if you could tell us more about what you know about antidepressants. Yeah, depressing. Yeah, antidepressants causes the same thing it treats. Never use these antidepressants, anti-anxieties, unless it's just a, a stat need, an emergency need. Use, uh, use uh, flower essences like a moonshine yarrow. A lot of you found that one. Uh, very good. We've used it for years. I said I used it in the Oklahoma bombing. So, absolutely. I only got five minutes. Eh. But, uh, yeah, antidepressants. Uh, Boo-hoo. If you're depressed, fix a parathyroid. Get calcium utilization. If you're, Get these acids out. Get the things that are hurting you, that are suppressing you. And emotions and, and all this. Clean yourself out. Uh, how they harm the body. There are all kinds of antidepressants out there that can do all kinds of things. Uh, I, I don't know the pathways of all of them, to be honest with you. I just have never spent the time to, to look at these pathways, nor do I really care. It, it, they don't work. They, they, it's obvious that you don't control things with chemicals and, and have health. Uh, when you control things with chemicals, you're just waiting for the nightmare from hell to come. Whether it's an explosion, it's suicide, or whatever it is. Uh, it, it's just all that. You don't suppress anything. The same thing with cardiac meds. You don't use beta blockers, calcium channel blockers. Uh -uh. What if you have a parathyroid weakness? Very serious stuff going on here in the medical profession that way out there that, that needs to be um, criminally uh, looked at. I mean, you just have to. At this level, you, you might have to play those games. I was on and off of them for 15 years, long time, sweetheart, so you really want to get in and get the, the nervous system built up, your brain and nerve number two, upper circulation, at the same time you get your thyroid, parathyroid back in shape and pop up those adrenal glands, but you've got to go after the kidneys, the bowels, and clean yourself out of all these proteins and acids, because those are the things causing the trouble, and it causes all the inflammation, all the swelling, all the suppression and functions, all the low production of steroids and hormones, and therefore you have symptomology out of that. Was first put on them some sort of drug when I was age six. Age six, this poor girl was put on antidepressants of some sort. Isn't that amazing? For hyperactivity. Huh, probably from a vaccine. Oh, I love their thinking. My God, I went uh, from being hyperactive to having chronic fatigue, depression, being overweight as a teenager. Isn't that sad? This poor girl did not have a nice childhood because of who? Allopathy. I understand from watching your videos what was wrong with me. You have weak thyroid, but you got it right on, sweetheart. Good catch. I have had much improvement in a year, but I have been on emotional. Well, you're going to see your, yeah, and you're going to have that. Get strong, sweetheart. Get strong with yourself. You have yourself. Get strong with yourself. So you spend time in meditation or contemplation, whatever you wish to call it. Start loving yourself. Get strong with the self beyond thought, beyond emotions, and power over this. Power over this. I think antidepressants are extremely dangerous. So do I. Very, very, a lot of people have killed themselves on them. Not good, or, or a lot of others. You know what I mean? Look at the latest, uh, uh, what do we got? We got the theater killings here in America. We got all these killings. And look at the, some of these countries where the guys went out and really come, you know, all, all, antidepressants, all these things. Most of the people I know on them do not improve. Exactly, exactly. But they still use them. You know why? Because they don't have anything else. But I, I've helped a lot of famous psychiatrists get well. I have, and they should know better, and they should be writing books to this extent because I've helped them pull them out of these cases where they themselves were on their own drugs. 
So I'm wondering if we could talk more about them to help us be more aware of the dangers of them. Don't, you know, get your health together. Focus on health. Don't focus on treatment of symptoms. Treatment of symptoms never works. And what can I say? They're toxic chemicals. You suppress any action, whether it's a glandular action or any action, you're just waiting for the storm. You know, just like this in America, the, the, the financial cliff. Like you have been saying, it's the intellectual mind. Yes, psychiatry trying to take over and they are hurting people. Exactly. Thanks, Chantel. Appreciate that, lady. I, I, I know. And it, it, you, those that are, you know, have that tug on the mind, just realize there's a time and place to use your mind. But you should always control the mind and your emotions and use them for the thrill of the ride. But always be in control of the thrill of the ride. Be in control of that ride. And if you're not in consciousness or in the moment, then the mind will control the thrill. The problem with the mind is it keeps adding and, and adding and, and subtracting and going on and going on and taking you down roads of, 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 of drama. And pretty soon you forget who you are. You're, you're like a leaf. You don't know. You start hearing this and hearing that and you get lost in the woods and, and, and you lose your way. So you have to pull back from the mind and from emotions for a while, from academics. You can't find truth in academics. It won't lead you there. It'll lead you away from there. And that's the problem. Use academics when needed. There's no question about that. But you're so much more of a magnificent being with all kinds of awareness to do all kinds of things. Using the mind, that's just a tool uh, of thinking processes and creating processes. It isn't the awareness. Mind doesn't have awareness. You're the one with the awareness. Yes. So, it has been a pleasure. I've got to run. I think I have a 10 o'clock. She hasn't said anything. If not, I'll come back and do another one. We'll get this up because there's a couple people here suffering a little bit. And I apologize that I, I have just had a lot of things going. So, I'm really going to make a big effort the next two weeks to get caught up. And then we'll proceed. I'll get Drew in here if we have a cancellation. I've got a lot of eyes here to go over with you. Uh, do appreciate you all. I love you all. And welcome aboard all you new people and hit it hard. This is fun. Make life fun and exciting outside of governments, outside of medical professions. Throw them away. They're part of the problem, not part of the solution. Love uh, of, of truth, health, that's all part of the solution. So, I'll see you later and love you all and have a great day. Namaste. May the blessings be to everyone.